Baker at home. Troubling news in an area where people are already struggling to make ends meet. And this all involves a proud piece of Allegheny County's industrial heritage. We are talking about the Dresser Rand plant in Wellsville. That plant now expected to close sometime during the year 2020. And it's an announcement that could impact as many as 250 people who work there. 7 Eye Witness News reporter Brittany Muller reports tonight from the Southern Tier. Unfortunately, it's going to be a, a big trickle down effect with a lot of other smaller businesses like ourselves. Rich Shear has owned Hamilton Shoe Store on Main Street in Wellsville for the past 50 years, and the business has been open for nearly a century. But with today's news that Dresser Rand is closing by 2020 and likely taking 250 jobs with it, nothing is certain. We're trying to buy months down the road right now, and I'm going to cut that buy back because I don't know what's going to happen with business to be able to pay those bills down the road. In a statement from Dresser Rand's parent company, Siemens, Curtis Wright will be purchasing the industrial powerhouse. And if the sale is approved in early April, work done at the facility in Allegheny County would be transferred to North Carolina and other locations. In 50 years, I've seen a lot of changes, but I've never seen one single change this devastating in Wildsville. The ripple effects, Shear says, could be devastating for the village. The restaurants, the insurance companies, uh, the school, the hospital. A Siemens spokesperson says the company is making structural changes to offset capacity surplus and price erosion caused by the broad energy market changes that are affecting the entire supply chain. Mayor Randy Shaler says the impact changes the village's priorities. Finding businesses, if you will, selling the, the Wellsville to the business community. Siemens also says the Wellsville facility will remain open for the next two years, but will operate under Curtis Wright. I really worry that a lot of those people will not wait. They're going to start looking out of town for other jobs. Seaman says Curtis Wright will offer jobs to about 50 people, leaving 200 others looking for work. In Wellsville, Brittany Muller, 7 Eyewitness News.